Today, we're going to learn how to make hash. Instead of corned beef hash, I decided to go with pastrami. It's got a nice smoky flavor I like, although both are great. I have a theory that you can make hash out of anything, potatoes and whatever meats or ingredients you have around. A theory I like to call will it hash. So let's get started. First, we're going to need a skillet. In this case, I'm using a carbon steel skillet. Let's turn the flame on to about medium and let the pan heat up. And have a little coffee while we're waiting. Test how hot it is by putting a few drops of water in the pan. If it evaporates right away, the pan is hot and ready to go. Add some oil. Swirl the oil around so it's all covered and in go our potatoes and onions. We're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Stir everything around so everybody gets to know each other. Give it a little shaky shake, a little stirry stir. Now we're going to put in about half of our minced garlic. This is also where you add any seasonings you want. For a little something different, I'm adding some Japanese chili powder, which is called sashimi togarashi. Keep on stirring and cooking the hash until the potatoes start to brown. We're going to add a little bit of chicken stock, just so that the potatoes can steam and finish cooking through. That'll come up to a boil. Keep it at a boil and stir it around. Keep stirring and checking those potatoes. And this is about how we want it to look like. We're going to take the hash out, set it aside. Wipe the pan out and give it a little more oil. And in it goes. You want to hear a good sizzle. We want to make sure to put some color on this pastrami. Here I am being OCD and breaking up all the hash so that each piece is on the pan. Because who wouldn't do that? We're stirring and trying to make sure that we flip everything and... Oh, Jesus! That surprised me a little bit. Stir the hash around and turn them over as much as possible to get color on both sides. This is about what we're looking for. So nice browning. In goes the reserved potatoes and onions mixture, and we mix all of that together. Give it a good stir. Keep adjusting your heat. In this case, I'm lowering it a little bit, adding just a touch more stock and scraping the bottom of the pan to get any fond that might have developed down there. Now we're going to put in a little pat of cold butter. Stir that in to combine. Once it looks good and most of the stock has evaporated, you can take it out and set it aside. Now we're going on to some fried eggs. Set the heat to medium and add some oil. Add a little bit of butter and melt that. Now we add two eggs. Add a little salt. Oops, there's a little piece of shell and we have to carefully get that off with the side of a butter knife. Now we do the pepper. I separate the two eggs, making them easier to flip. And just kind of move them around, adjust the heat as if you have to, until it looks like the whites are mostly set. If you want, you can add a couple drips of oil on top of the yolks. Then we get in there with a spatula and gently flip them over. Make sure to do this confidently. Eggs can sense fear. Now we kill the heat. We let them sit there for about 20, 30 seconds. And there we are. Pastrami hash and fried eggs with golden, delicious yolk running down into them. Let's give a little taste. The smokiness from the hash and the potatoes mixed in with that runny egg yolk, delicious. Pastrami hash and fried eggs, do it. Yeah.